Miami Beach Spring Break 2024 Rules and Regulations, $100 parking fees. Beaches will close at 6 p.m., so don't bring alcohol, glass items, weapons, etc. Thousands of police were hired to patrol nearly every block. DUI checkpoints, less alcohol and bag checks, and bars will be more strict. Some will require even out-of-towners to be 23 and over. And they will close everything much earlier. Plus, there's early curfew. The beach is bracing for what's usually one of the busiest spring break weekends. But this is what Chopper 4 captured today. Mostly empty beaches. Still, the city is enforcing new strict rules like $100 parking in some places. While Miami Beach says it's for everyone's safety, one business owner thinks the city is going overboard. Most of his customers live in nearby cities and have just stayed away. CBC's Miami's Larry Seward talked to him and at Spring Breakers tonight. On South Beach, a sign of the times, gates closed before sunset. Close it down at 6 o'clock. Ambassadors block paths, too. It's insane. But yeah, like anywhere, like even the place we went last year for spring break, at least the curfew was 8. Like, this is, this yeah, is crazy. Six, six is kind of early. It's leaders' answer to annual spring break violence that left two people dead last year. We're not saying don't come. We're saying come, enjoy, have fun, but do not commit crimes here. Um, we're going to enforce the law, and that's simple as that. Part of the plan involves parking, bans in every public parking lot in all but one garage for anyone who doesn't live or work here. It's the law every Thursday through Monday morning for the next two weeks. This is ridiculous. The loan exception charges visitors a flat $100 fee every day. Who's loaning these people $100? James Proventure says it's costing him money. He owns Barry's Miami Beach, a boot camp gym where most customers live in nearby cities. More than 100 stayed away over parking. If that's every single day, that's going to add up to a lot of money, you know, at the end of the month that we no longer have. He showed three miles away the spring break crowds that usually peak this time of March, hardly packed South Beach or barricaded sidewalks in the entertainment district. Bans on open alcohol, loud music, swarms of police, state troopers, and evening beach closures played no small role. I didn't know until like a day before we came here that they were setting all the curfews and stuff. And I was the one who told them about it. And yeah, it completely changed like our plans. Were really yeah. This group from Atlanta plans to have fun regardless of their limits. Tons of others have moved the festivities to South Padre Island, Texas, during the week of March 8th to the 16th. Where will you be?